I'm going to start off with a little bit about India. I'm sure everybody uh, keeps on hearing about India and there's a lot of things happening. So I just thought I'll take a couple of slides to explain what India is. Uh, obviously, heavily populated country, so a lot of mobile, mobile devices. But yes, uh, it's still feature phone heavy, but uh, smartphone is just increasing on a daily basis. If you see, we have more than 10 million devices that are getting sold every month. On the interesting aspect, if I should say that there are 200 million apps that are getting downloaded every month and it keeps on growing. And 45% of the apps are games. Next slide. Uh, just a little perspective of what are the opportunities that you have from an India point of view. Uh, the users in mobile uh, obviously are growing by 3x. Games, again, it's downloaded app, like anything. In-app purchase is increasing, but yes, the challenge of payment is still there. Uh, In-app purchase is still a little bit of telco uh, driven, not, not more from a, a Google wallet point of view. And locally OEMs are, you know, 50% uh, are from their own app store. So the most important thing is that if you want to come to India, you need to really understand that there are local Android stores that needs to be uh, targeted to get your game distributed. Uh, I'm going to jump into about Pocket so that you understand the future slides, where are they coming out from. Uh, we are into the business of rewarded video advertising uh, with a purely focus of anywhere in the world you are till the time you have traffic in India and Southeast Asia, we are the company that's going to help you monetize. Uh, so the same thing, Mr. Developer, you're from anywhere from the world. Till the time you have traffic in that zone, we'll be happy to you know, monetize it for you. Uh, a little bit about the company. Uh, we have founded in 2012. Three offices in India, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia. Uh, we are a, a funded company by Jeffco, Singtel, uh, Jungle Ventures, and employees. Right now, 46, but we're aiming to be close to 100 by end of the year. Uh, from the SDK point of view, uh, we are into iOS and Android right now. We're moving into Windows very soon. Uh, but you have Unity, Adobe Air, Marmalade, Coco Studio. We have all the plugins available for you to uh, check it out. Uh, our SDK is plug and play. It's a simple dashboard analytics that you can explore. A little bit about what we've been doing in the last six months in India and Southeast Asia. We've run almost around 50 plus brand campaigns. We have around 10 plus million views, and the eCPM that we are delivering right now in India and Southeast Asia is $5 and above. Uh, some of the developers that we have already working along with, uh, Nautilus, Disney, Reliance, Nazara, uh, all of those guys have integrated Pocket SDK, and we've been working around with them, monetizing their traffic in India and Southeast Asia. Uh, some of the developers that we are also working where we've integrated our SDK and we've been monetizing the users for them from India and Southeast Asia. Uh, brands, like we said, like I said, we've done more than 50 brand campaigns uh, in the last couple of months and almost every brand that we go across and spoke, they all want to use rewarded video inventory. So a couple of things that I want to just emphasize now on. Uh, how do you monetize your users through uh, rewarded video ads? But before I move to that direction, I just want to uh, expose some myths. So in the last uh, six months, uh, Pocket has been spending time in India and Southeast Asia. And we've been meeting almost 200 game developers, looking at around 500 games, and speaking to the game developer ecosystem and understanding what is their take on the rewarded video? And the first myth that we come across is that a lot of developers think that rewarded videos are intrusive and they disrupt my game UX. Well, that's not the reality because uh, it's a completely UX that can be designed by you. And just to prove this point, I'm just going to play a small video for you by which you can see that you know rewarded video ads ne not at all disturbs your UX.
So if you look over here, the look and feel of the coin section over there is purely as per the game UX. The brands that are normally advertising with us are the local brands. So that game is from India, so the ad is from India. The second is, a lot of people say that they cannot run a rewarded video because their in-app economy does not support it. Now, well, I don't agree to it because if you, if you look at the, the game like this, where you lose a game, come on, you can respawn. It's as simple as that. And if you can respawn, you just need to watch a video and you can have a you know, life back to fight. Just to prove that point, we integrated with another game where, where a user is playing and he dies inside the game. There's an instant revive button. Just click on watch video. The video comes. Again, that's a brand that's coming over there. The advertisements are not more than 15 to 30 seconds. And you get a life and you start again. So the myth is completely wrong, if I could say it. One of, the feed, one of the myth is that you know, there are a lot of rewarded video ads which are purely game-related ads, and you know, they take the users out of the game. Uh, well, if you looked at the other two campaigns that I just showed it on the video, you know, those are not gaming campaigns, those are brand campaigns. So, again, I would like to show a video. So if you look at it, you're over here where you click it on the, on the video page. There's again an ad that comes in. Okay, you're still inside the game. You have not left the game. You're there. Your user is still there. He looks at a brand campaign inside and he gets a reward for it. So the user does not leave the game. So one of the big things, rewarded videos will cannibalize my paying users. Now, uh, that's a myth which we would like to address with a simple example where one of our developer friend who has integrated Pocket has clearly given us a testimonial that we have helped them add on additional revenue from their non-paying users. And they have also told us that there has been an increase in their in-app purchase percentage purely because they got to experience a little bit about uh, their in-app item. And that's the game called Thapster, and that's the advertisement that we are running. That's a local branded advertisement that we ran in Thailand. Rewarded videos have no user retention within my game. Now, uh, to prove this one, I'll show you. There was a study done in, the, uh, in February 2015 which clearly emphasizes that players are unlikely to quit playing due to incentivized ad watching. The frequency and majority of, head, of heavy ad watchers were retained while they were watching the rewarded video. Because at the end of the day, guys, players are also getting something at the end. So they are never ever going to leave your game just because there is a video campaign that you showed it to them. I'm now going to move to a different side of uh, the discussion which I got to hear from a lot of my developer friends asking, do you really have campaigns? Because they've, some of them have experimented with some other partners and they had that concern. So I want to give you a perspective of also what does a brand thinks about rewarded video ads. So the advertiser always tells us that when we meet them, they say that please do not force my ads on the user. And from a rewarded video ads point of view, you know, it's a completely user opt-in. It's the user who decides when to watch the particular ad. So it's a completely a player-driven initiative. So just to prove that point, we did a campaign along with Angry Birds where you could get shockwave while playing the game. But to get that, you need to watch a video. And it was a completely decision taken by the player whether to watch or not to watch. And when they used to watch it, they used to get the shockwave. Can the user see my full video ad? 
because this is one of the things that an advertiser tells that will I will it be a five second skip, ten minute ten seconds, can I get a complete fifteen seconds? And to do that, if you look at it, we did some campaigns for Samsung video ad in one of the game from Indonesia where our ad was running for thirty seconds and it was non skippable. So skippable or non skippable is purely a developer decision, but yes. At the end of the day, you have an option where you can just say you cannot skip it till the time the ad gets over. Also, one more thing that I would like to point out in this whole discussion is that uh, we, have a, we have a local, uh, we have around 30 member sales team spread across India and Southeast Asia whose only job is to keep on meeting all the brand advertisers, understand from them what is their requirement, because at the end of the day, as, as developers, we are creating inventory. But if there are no campaigns, how are we all going to make money? So our sales team's ultimate job is to get that requirement, fit into your developer ecosystem, run the campaigns, and get you better monetization. From a, from a brand advertising point of view, the biggest discussion point uh, is, you know, is there a brand recall in rewarded video? And yes, there is definitely a brand recall because if you're going to run it for 30 seconds as compared to a five second ad in other platforms, obviously you're going to have a better brand recall. And just to prove that, uh, we've also done a little bit of uh, you know, data sharing with you, which was done by Nielsen, yeah, where they've clearly mentioned that there is a 58% brand recall as compared to the other uh, TV ads that are across TV and online. So before I go to why pocket, I would also like to uh, you know, uh, point out a couple of things that you should know about us. Uh, we've been highly focused into the business of rewarded video ads in India and Southeast Asia. Wherever you are, Mr. Developer, wherever you are based out of, till the time you have traffic coming from this part of the world, we are there to monetize it for you. We've been doing it successively for more than 50 developers as of right now. We've been making money for them, something which they, I'm very proud to say that they have communicated to us. They have never made that kind of money till the time they integrated Pocket. And that's a big boost for us as a company to put that statement back to you. Obviously, like I said, we have a 30 sales member team who are going all out, meeting all the brands, getting the campaigns to run and run inside your inventory. Uh, if you looked at the presentation, uh, I would also like to mention the ads are very local, okay? So we believe to run a Thai ad in Thailand or a Bhasa ad in Indonesia, rather than just running an English ad in a country where people don't really understand English. Uh, obviously, our, e our eCPMs are very high as compared to the other channels because you get paid for a view. He doesn't have to do any kind of an activity, and the users love that. As a player, he just watches a video, he gets a coin. And that is, I think, one of the biggest things by which, as developers, you're going to make a lot of money from India and Southeast Asia traffic. Obviously, our payouts are also faster. So that's all the reason that you need to use Pocket. Uh, we are, are iOS and Android SDK ready. You have, you have any kind of plugin, and we are very confident that you know, we have it ready for you to use it. So, Thank you. I'm just going to wait for you guys to ask me questions. Thank you very much, Nimit. Now, yes, we, we definitely have time for a couple of questions. Um, I'd just like to get it going, yeah. actually. So you recently formed an alliance with a Philippine, Philipp, Philipp, Philippines developer called yeah. Synergy 88. Is that yes. right? Yes. Well, because We've talked a lot about Southeast Asia today. A lot of people have singled out countries, Thailand, Vietnam. We haven't really heard very much about the Philippines so far, but the Philippines has got 100 million people living there. So I found that quite unusual that we haven't heard about such a big country, such a huge potential audience, right? So what, what's, what's your involvement so, there? Uh, what's the so, potential? So let me just uh, try and give you more information on that. Uh, I think uh, we are meeting a little two weeks ahead of a lot of other things that we are doing. So very soon you're going to hear a lot about the Philippine market from our partners uh, that are going to make an announcement. Uh, but yes, it's an English-speaking country. Okay, people love to play games in those countries. 
the biggest problem of all the developers, when I spend time with Filipinos, uh, I realize that they are not making money out of it. And that is where a platform like Pocket was very interesting for Synergy also to you know, explore, because all the developers that we keep on meeting over there, they were making games, no one was making money. So, so the partnership is purely to help the Filipinos make money with the help of rewarded video ads but and but branded video ads. Yeah, but, but this, this kind of solution is particularly well suited to the countries in Southeast Asia, you know, yes. where players have not very much disposable income, but they can still engage and kind of be introduced to premium content that way. Yeah, I, I would rather say it's a, it's a concept very well accepted across the world. It is not that only very specific to Southeast Asia. Uh, there are a lot of money that people are making from the Western market also. But in this part of the country, uh, in this part of the world where the challenges are with payments, the challenges are with people not having any kind of mode to pay, rewarded video ads is one of the biggest bet that we have taken to, ma to make money from the non-paying users. Like, like after meeting all 200 developers who have made more than 500,000 games, uh, unfortunately no one was able to make money out of it. Even though it was their friends who was playing the game, he was not making money out of it. So our core objective is to ensure that money is made out of the Southeast Asia and India users. And to do that, I, we think rewarded video ads via brand campaign approach is going to rock. Anybody uh, have a question? Right down here. I uh, just share it here. Um, the question is, uh, if you have a five seconds uh, ad or 30 seconds ad, what's the difference in the monetization? No, so the point that I was trying to drive over there is that in our case, in the rewarded video ads business, there is nothing called as five, five seconds. But from an advertiser point of view, today for, if I can say, you know, if you go to YouTube, you know, there is an option of skipping the ad in five seconds. Yeah. Where else when you're going to be over here, that option is not there. So there is a higher brand recall for the brand. So this is fixed 30 seconds, something like that. What 15 to 30 seconds. It depends on the campaign that the advertiser gives. You can't skip there. Sorry? The user can't skip. Gamer can't skip that. Oh, that's an option that's available to the developers if they want to activate the skip button or not. As, okay. a, as an SDK, we have the feature. No, no, my, my question then comes, if you skip it, the monetization is different. The gamer skips that, so monetization becomes different, or it's the it same? becomes zero. It becomes zero. It becomes it zero. zero. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, just one more over here. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm from the Philippines, as you mentioned uh, a while ago. Um, How come I don't know you? <laughs> <laughs> very small development company. Um, yeah, we have the worst internet in our in the region. Um, how does this, I wasn't here to attend the start of the, your presentation, but does this affect the, the streaming of the video in, into the ad? Or? So, so this, is where, this is where our technology is a little bit uh, advanced, if I have to say, if it, you know, with the countries that we are dealing. Obviously, a streaming or a buffering is like a big, big problem for uh, not only Philippines, for even India, if I have to mm -hmm. say. But what we do is basically, you don't need to be online when you're watching a video, a rewarded video ad by pocket. You just need to be online once a day, wherein we're gonna just cash in the video into your device. So whenever you go on, whenever you're playing the game, the video is already inside your device. Okay, okay so there's no buffering, there's no streaming, there's nothing. Right. And I'm very sure in Philippines, even though the internet is bad, you go online once a day at least. Yes. So that's how you make money, even though the internet is bad. Good answer. Uh, anybody else have a question? No? I believe that's it. Well, thank you very much, Namith. Oh, thank you. Good, good, good presentation. Okay. Thank you.